This is a demo for the Pioneer SA1050 amplifier. Right now, I'm running a CD. Back there's a CD changer I'm running through here. We also have a phono input. I'm running a techniques I'm working on right now. It's a phono input. Nothing connected to the tuner. Nothing connected to tape one right now. That's the tape two input there. And then these, I'm gonna leave loudness on. Speaker A, B over here. I'm connected to A right now. The only thing wrong, this particular unit, the board in here is bad. There's a little board back in there for these LCD display. And the um, LEDs are bad. The only way you can even see this doing anything is if I turn off over here, I turn off my speakers. I can get that. Let me do it this way. Go to CD. You can see this one here will light up sometimes at low volume. And if I turn this thing way up, the top one will light up. That's it. I've had a part worked on it and stuff. That board's just bad as far as I can tell. Anyway, other than that, this thing's all working perfectly. I'm going to go back to Phono in. This thing has a crazy amount of power, so I have to be careful not to just blow all the speakers out of my room. It's rated 100 watts per channel, according to that. But I'm running the volume down here like this and I'm actually running currently three different sets of speakers could run a fourth set I got some ADS ones and these Mirage ones and I got the big old set down there which you can see and if I turn on a fourth set these Sermon Vegas here as well so I've got four sets of speakers running this thing can handle the load it's a monster but anyway, besides this, I wish that worked. It doesn't on this model, but or on this particular unit. And you can see the thing with this. That CD. It's running through this guy up here on that equalizer. But anyway, that's the SA1050 right there.